attention thank you for coming thank you very much this means a great deal to me uh, you can't see it but I am smiling thank you. <laughs> and uh, there is I've set up a GoFundMe page for Billy Tripp the guy the creator the artist this is called Mindfield he's been working on it since 1989 he's 65 he's better shaped than me he climbs this stuff every day built this by himself not a lot of help at all, and um, it's it's a memorial to his parents who uh, passed away, and this is his way of memorializing slash grieving for them. And little fun fact: when he has an arrangement. When he dies, one day he's going to be buried right over there, right on the property. It's approved with Brownsville, so there you go puts his heart and soul into this. So if you have a chance, uh, check out the, the GoFundMe page, which is linked in the Minefield information page that you guys can know about on my website. Again, I don't know how much water towers cost, but anything that you can do to help them would be greatly appreciated. Would you guys want to do this again next year? Is yeah. that a question? Yeah, it's a question. Yes. Yes? yes? Okay, all right. <laughs> Everybody having fun so far? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, let's, let's go get some tech. What's called up a drive, a drive-in movie theater screen. Cool. Oh. Yeah, he'll repurpose a lot of this stuff into unrecognizable things. We got augers and three of these fire towers, and each one, when he got them, he had to deconstruct, transport, and then rebuild it on the site by himself. And of course, they don't use these anymore because, oh, we have drones now. Billy, begin your life with that. My dad, 2002. You know those websites that have uh, you know, Wacky America on it? It's always, it's always this place. Huh? Yeah. It's wacky for sure. But once you find out the history of it, and why he built it, you know artists. They're all little, but Billy's such a nice, kind, generous person to share all this with. Because he could be one of those guys who's just like, ah, get off my land, you know what I mean? But he's like, sure, come on in, you know. I mean, what are we going to hurt? It's all metal, right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I bought, um, you, see, you ever see the gloves that he uses to climb yeah. with? It's like some old welding gloves. I bought him some fancy... Yeah climbing gloves, like for mountain climbers. 
and uh, I don't think he used them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I understand. He, I asked him. He goes, "Oh, I don't want to get them dirty." Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, if you're if you've been climbing for years using the same gloves, you're gonna trust them. So yeah. yeah. Maybe he'll use mine in the winter just to keep warm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the end of the tour.